Welcome to Naturally Gated. My name is Jennifer Kliske, and this is Makana, my naturally gated and barefoot Tennessee walking horse mare. Makana and I have been together since 2007 when I bought her as a three-year-old filly. Previous to this, I had been a dedicated dressage student of hard-trotting horses since 1988 and showed my Dracaner thoroughbred gelding successfully through second level. In 2007, I began searching for a new horse, and that's when I met Makana. I wasn't looking for a show horse. I just wanted a smooth horse that would be easier on my aging body. But I came to discover that smooth doesn't mean easy. Yes, Makana was bred to be smooth. It was up to me to bring it out of her. I'll never forget what it was like in the beginning. When I would cue Makana for a flat walk, she would take a few steps of pace, then a few steps of step pace, then flat walk, foxtrot, and rack. And I'd have to figure out which gate was the one I had asked for. Adding to this, I had to figure out how to ride with even contact on a head nodding horse. Dressage requires riding with even contact with a snaffle bit. I knew I would need to earn Makana's trust with my hands in order for her to accept contact with the bit. It's a lot easier on a horse whose head and neck remain stationary. Not so at the flat walk, running walk, and foxtrot. How would I maintain contact while the horse's head and neck nod with each step? These were the big questions I wrestled with as we began our gated dressage journey. But I knew that dressage would teach her rhythm, relaxation, connection, impulsion, straightness, and collection. Since there wasn't anyone in my area who taught dressage for the gated horse, I read books, watched videos, and attended clinics whenever gated horse experts traveled to my area. I began to ride with greater awareness of cause and effect and with greater feel. I listened for the regularity of footfalls and I watched the head motion. Then I began to capture video of her rides. I'd slow down the video frames in order to confirm whether or not what I felt and heard from the saddle was in line with the instruction I had been receiving. This became a very helpful tool. As soon as we had defined each gate on cue and we were able to maintain the gate for longer periods of time without breaking, I used dressage exercises to improve the quality of the gates. The goal was to develop forwardness without rushing while maintaining balanced relaxation in order to influence a deeper step under her belly so that I could improve Makana's depth of stride in her flat walk and running walk. At first, Makana's response to forwardness was quicker, shorter steps. My gated dressage mentor, Jenny Jackson, refers to this as walking in a tight skirt. It was smooth, but it wasn't the quality walk Makana is capable of. Jenny's coaching the last few years has been instrumental in helping Makana and I establish contact, which has shown us greater consistency of head nod at a flat walk with deeper steps. When Makana and I began working with canner, we were challenged with a lateral canner and a forebeat canner. In the lateral canner, Makana was stiff in the jaw and back, so I used dressage to bring about relaxation to these areas. Makana also was prone to a 4B canner instead of a true 3B canner. We did things like cantering over ground poles and jumping to add more lift to Makana's canner, and we did more hand galloping and cantering up hills in order to make her canner more 3 beat. In 2010, I learned of a schooling dressage show not far from my home. I thought it would be a cool way to get feedback from a trained dressage professional as to where we were at in rhythm, relaxation, connection, impulsion, harmony, my riding position, and the use of aids. So I contacted the show manager and asked if I could ride my Tennessee walking horse at a flat walk instead of a trot. I never imagined that I'd be back showing dressage after 16 years on a horse that didn't trot. Then I launched Naturally Gated and I began to share my journey with others who are also searching for information about dressage for the gated horse. 
Over the years, it is clear that dressage has improved the quality of Makana's gates. Her medium walk, free walk, flat walk, and canner are well established now. We are still working on improving the depth of stride in the running walk, and I know this will come in time. Makana and the people we have met over the years have opened us up to many new experiences that I never imagined we'd be doing, such as moving cows and team penning events and cow sorting leagues, enjoying the beauty of our state parks by horseback, which led us to endurance riding, orientation events, and trail challenges, to riding in the snow, to giving stadium jumping a try. Dressage has been the common language through the versatility of experiences we are enjoying together. If you are on this journey, please reach out. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and come visit us at naturallygated.com.